something very interesting for mechanical engineers. There are a great many ways mechanical engineers will contribute in the challenges of the future. For example, they will be essential in the design and implementation of new vehicle designs and improved safety and reduced energy consumption. New and improved sources of renewable energy. New modes of transport such as maglev trains and hyperloop systems. Improvements to existing power utilities, coal, nuclear, natural gas, increased automation in the home and industry, robots and other devices, improvements in efficiency to current vehicle engines, gas and diesel both, improvements to all types of aircraft for increased efficiency and comfort, new vehicles and other essential designs for future space travel. These are just a few of the vast number of ways mechanical engineers contribute to society and in the future they will be more important than this. Now what are the recent challenges faced by mechanical engineers? If you have to look at it very closely, though the industry is seeing rapid growth but on the other hand it is also facing some kind of warning. The recent challenges faced in the field of mechanical engineering are Threat to the environment in the name of industrialization. Threat to the eco balance in the name of industrialization. Threat due to mismanagement of solid waste. Threat due to mismanagement of liquid waste. To find or know the methods of cost reduction. To face the global challenge. To find or know the methods of lead time reduction, etc. Why are mechanical engineers required even for supply chain? Now that would be a little news, something new to hear, but this is just surfacial. And there is a lot of scope of mechanical engineers even in supply chain. It looks to be blessing in disguise. Now let us try and understand what are the current challenges in mechanical engineering. The only challenge faced by mechanical engineering is job opportunity nowadays. There are few jobs and the competition is huge. It is absolutely important that you land a job during your campus placements. It is very difficult to find a job when you go off campus. The basic idea to support the claim is when you are in the college, you will have your limited batch mates as your potential competitors. But when you go off campus, there are students from different colleges, universities, states, IITs, NITs, etc. Study hard during your intermediate and get a good mark. Always remember that CGPA is CGPA. It has to come the best way, the best possible way. If you have already enrolled, then improve your communication skills and maintain your CGPA. If you have completed your engineering, then you can learn different design courses, offer some hands-on experience workshop. Most of the job consultants here in India are fraud. I would not promote them unless they are working for the company. If you are helpless and couldn't get a job through your contacts, then search for the genuine consultant and visit them. Just dial could be one and there are plenty of opportunities in LinkedIn and Glassdoor. Some more challenges faced by mechanical engineers are hands-on experience or the company requirement. 60% of the job you will do is not based on your engineering curriculum. You will learn advanced concepts and recent techniques. Conventional curriculum. The basic principles are the same but touch of upcoming concepts and technology is not included. Less startup funding is available. If you plan to start your own business then the problem that you will encounter is high machinery cost. The boy to girl ratio. It may vary from 5 is to 1 to 15 is to 1 or even more. Don't ignore that CGPA is CGPA boss. What are your future mechanical engineering challenges? Mechanical engineering is considered the broadest of all engineering disciplines, mainly due to the fields overlap with other areas of study, such as civil, chemical and industrial engineering. As a result, mechanical engineers can be found in numerous industries working on a wide range of projects. The versatility of this field has historical lead to rich job prospects for mechanical engineers. And the same seems to hold true for the future. Employment for mechanical engineers is expected to grow at 4% annually between 2018 to 2028. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, they do 
however also mentioned that this rate will most likely favor those who stay abreast of the latest technological advances while core mechanical engineering principles such as thermodynamics fluid mechanics and machine design are still valid expertise in composites mechatronics and nanotechnology are in increasingly high demand a look at the future of mechanical engineering these new subject areas which are the result of modern advancements are prerequisites for several emerging and promising fields including artificial intelligence bio mechatronics and nanotechnology some of the areas where mechanical engineers are expected to be in high demand include electric vehicles the transportation sector continues to generate the largest share of greenhouse gas emissions in the united states mounting pressures to use alternative source of energy has helped to fuel the rise of electric vehicles while mechanical engineers have always been essential in the automotive industry their role is crucial now more than ever replacement of the traditional internal combustion engine with cleaner battery powered systems bring new challenges regarding torque and energy loss and the design of mechatronics to support new electrical system furthermore as vehicle manufacturing becomes more automated mechanical engineers will be front and center in the design of robotics and assembly lines nano engineering nano technology refers to the manipulation of materials at the smallest level this rapidly growing field is one that offers abundant opportunities for mechanical engineers in the years ahead mechanical engineers are expected to be integral in using nano technology to create stronger composite materials develop superior renewable energy storage systems create advanced biomedical devices bio mechatronics the role of mechanical engineers in robotics is taken a step even further with the rapid growth of bio mechatronics this field which seeks to merge body and machine involves the design and testing of complex and intricate device architectures that mimic the body's musculoskeletal design mechanical engineers will be primarily involved in the design of mechanical sensors controllers and actuators for biomedical devices used in prosthetics and miniature medical implants in addition to the medical field research is also being carried out on the use of biomechatronics in the military industry manufacturing manufacturing is an ever evolving field mounting pressures to increase production efficiency while minimizing operation costs have fueled demand for new and innovative technologies automation and robotics an area in which mechanical engineers are crucial continue to be essential in helping manufacturing industries keep up with consumer demand while maximizing profit however according to yufingden post despite the exponential growth of the manufacturing industry many us manufacturers are finding difficulty filling vacant positions for skilled workers engineers included this industry is therefore ripe with opportunities for professionals with mechanical engineering degrees while new technologies have no doubt changed the engineering landscape the future looks bright for the mechanical engineering industry new fields of study and subjects areas will favor engineering graduates practicing professionals however will need to keep up to date with current and future advancements to avoid being left behind what is a challenge in which i can participate in the mechanical engineering field for example design innovation there are a lot of challenges which mechanical engineers are still facing development of versatile acceleration test failure model you can find a lot in literature but you will have to decide which model you are going to choose for your system there is not a unique model which can define each machine number 2 as the world population is continuously increasing so cities are expanding we need to create some travel means so that we can reach to our destination without wasting our precious time in traffic hyperloop has been developed but there can be a lot of other alternatives too number 3 reliability of design physics of failure these two are two broad fields in which you can work lifelong to develop some new theory fourth how to minimize vibration in any structure so that we can increase the life of machine and there are lots of other things to do in mechanical engineering if you really want to contribute to the society just start because you will never be fully prepared 
there is a saying that if you already know the problem then your half work is done just try to do these things what are they find the root cause of the problem look in the literature for the different solutions if there's no solution then try to develop one this will be your real contribution show the world how your solution works and how can you solve that particular problem i hope that these laid down very sure that mechanical engineers would definitely have a lot better insight as to what they are going to do in terms of facing challenges in future that's the crisp message that we have for you all best wishes mechanical engineers thank you